Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video, I'm gonna show you some new capabilities that we've just added to the TrendSpider market scanner, the TrendSpider back tester, and our multi-factor alerts, and anywhere else in the system where multi-factor conditions can be used. So I'm gonna show you how this works on the scanner, but just keep in mind, this will work throughout the platform. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a scanner that searches through the S&P 500 index for any stock where the price close, the current price is greater than or equal to the EMA 50 on the daily chart. And also the EMA 50 itself is trading within a 2% range of the EMA 200. This is something that was not previously possible in TrendSpider. So I'm very excited that it now is because I think it enhances the scanner and the other aspects of the platform in a way that is meaningfully useful for traders who are scanning and searching for opportunities in the market. So here's how it works. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a condition and I'm gonna select daily, right? For the daily chart and I'm gonna select price close. Then I'm gonna go through the operator list and select greater than or equal to. Keep in mind, greater than or equal, less than or equal, or is within range of are brand new operators that were just added in this update. So I'm gonna go through a couple of these, but keep in mind there's more and they all work in a very similar way. So I'm gonna select greater than or equal to, and I'm gonna then select indicator. I'm also gonna select daily as my time frame for this indicator. And then I'm gonna select the EMA 50. Right, so now I've created a condition where the daily price close with current candle checked on, meaning it is um, the last price, the current price of the asset is greater than or equal to the EMA 50, meaning it's anywhere above it. And let's say that I'm not interested in being anywhere above it because it could be very close to it. I want it to be at least 1% above it, right? So I'm gonna click the little three dot menu here. It will add this buy at least box and the default value is a one there. Right, so now this condition will look for any stock in the S&P 500 where the current price is greater than or equal to the EMA 50 by at least 1%. That's gonna give me a lot of results because there's a lot of stocks in the S&P 500 that are above their 50 period EMA. Right, so that's not gonna be particularly useful to me on its own. But let's say I wanna find stocks that are just kind of getting out of a consolidation. Right, so I may wanna add another condition here that does something like this, where I select daily indicator. Keep in mind, you can do this with your keyboard. So I just press D and I and it's selected daily and then indicator, right? I'm gonna select the EMA 50. And I'm gonna select this time is within range of. This is another brand new operator. It was just added to TrendSpider. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna select another indicator. I'm also gonna select the daily time frame, And this time I'm gonna choose the 200 period EMA, right? So now we're looking for any stock where the current price is greater than or equal to the EMA 50 by at least 1% and the EMA 50 is within 1% of the EMA 200. This doesn't have to be 1%, this can be 2% or whatever you want it to be. 1% is the default. So now when I run this scan, TrendSpider is gonna search through the S&P 500 and identify any symbols where these particular conditions are true. And keep in mind, you can have a lot of conditions like this. So you don't have to just limit it to EMAs and prices, right? You can do the same exact style of scanning using lower indicators. You can do this using uh, automated anchored indicators such as anchored VWAP or anchored volume profile in the point of control line there. But this allows you to tell the system to search or alert or test conditions where there is now a buffer zone or a sensitivity zone or a proximity zone around levels that you're scanning against, right? So this is something that's very powerful. It can help you identify opportunities more easily. And I hope that this video helps you understand how it works and how to find these features and how to use them. Keep in mind that this works throughout the platform, not just in the scanner, and do let us know what you think and if you have any thoughts or suggestions or ways that you, you would like to use this, and we'll definitely try to help you out and address those. So again, thank you so much for watching. I'm trying to keep this video short. I hope you enjoy this new feature, and keep in mind there's a lot more to come. This is only the beginning. Thank you and bye-bye.